Hello, this is a quick demonstration for how the new ETF standards will work within the year two IPDPs. And what we've done is to inject this menu item into all of the active year two IPDPs that we've been able to identify. If you happen to come across a student who hasn't yet got them, then do get them to email IPDP at hud.ac.uk and we will prioritise injecting them in to those portfolios. We haven't touched the ones that appear to be inactive because it's very time consuming and we think that that might be a waste of time. But if in missing those out we've missed one who actually is active, then do let us know. Um, if we then have a look at what this menu item looks like and how the students ought to use it, there's an introductory page that explains what the ETF standards are with a link through to the ETF website. And then there are some sublinks to the three standards, the values and attributes, knowledge and understanding and skills areas that make up the new professional standards. So if we look at values and attributes as an example, what you'll find there are two tables. There's this one which is the evidence table where they will log their evidence and then there's this one which is the tracking table which they colour in to say whether their standards met good or outstanding. So the challenge has been, think been thinking about the um, the way in which the students can transfer from the old standards to the new. So what we've done to try to help them with that is to provide what we think are the nearest equivalents in the old standards. So for example, standard three is quite an easy straightforward one because it's C2, so it's broadly equivalent to characteristics two on the old standards. Standard one is rather more complex because there are three old standards that are broadly equivalent to the new single standard and that's what you might expect because of course we've rationalised the standards in moving away from Ofsted and towards ETF. There are fewer standards so you might expect that two or three or four have been subsumed into a single standard and that of course is good. The challenge then is for students to estimate what their existing uh, level is according to standard one based on those three grades that they established in year one. So they might not be all the same as one another. You might have a couple of goods and the standards met and so they need to make an estimation. Um, and that's something that's going to be a judgment for them to make, but we're also suggesting that they could discuss that with you, if at all unsure. And so what they'll be doing is, in the first instance, and this is kind of a one-off task, I guess, is looking back at their achievements here and mapping those across onto the new standards. And this is something that we encouraged them to do, I think, relatively early on. We sent you out some email attachments that take the same kind of form. So very many of them may well have done some of this estimation estimation work already and then be ready to move on to establishing what their current claim is in the current academic year and the evidence of that. So let's show an example of this. Uh, if I go into edit the page and that's just going to take a moment to load the editor. Okay, there we go. And let's say I've looked back at C2 and I was good with regard to that at the end of year one, but that now I feel I've moved on and I'm just going to check the head of the table. I'm now outstanding like that. And the evidence that I've moved from good to outstanding, let's see what the standard is, inspire, motivate and raise aspirations. And that might come from teaching observation records, reflective journals, and specialist conference paper. So let's imagine that I've done a, a specialist conference paper that's about really inspiring aspect of my own practice. So I'm going to log that as evidence in that column. And then if we look down at the um, tracking table, what we need to do as a student is to tick off that we've worked through standards met, uh, um, we've done good by the end of last year and that we're now thinking okay we've actually developed into being outstanding in that regard uh, and so that's broadly the way in which the students can take account of the work that they've already lodged under their self-assessment last year in completing that first column here, but then move on from that using the new standards and we hope that that's a workable solution. And of course it will be similar in the two other areas. So 
knowledge and understanding is the pink one and they can work through and complete that in exactly the same way and then skills is the blue one and similarly they can work through and complete that so um, let us know how that's going be really interested to see how students respond to it one thing to mention before I finish here is that some students have um, very um, courageously endeavoured to do this on their own so although on the transition advice on the IPDP help site we'd said to people uh, just hold fire and um, in November we will provide you with a, a way of doing this some have tried to do it themselves and so these menu items have got a little bit confused and so some people have split it into year one and year two some people have completed a word document of this table and uploaded it under year two uh, or a new year two menu item some people appear to have replicated characteristics explanations files and lessons for year two which of course is actually not the right way to do it because that would mean that they were using the old standards and we want them to use the new so there may be some work for you as the centre tutor in moving those candidates onto this new ETF standard and um, what I would suggest is that any work that they've done on the Word document that looks rather like this they could transfer now onto this page and then get rid of that Word document and if they have done some work around moving on with the characteristics explanations files and lessons it's time for them to kind of draw a line under that now and perhaps take those menu items back out of their IPDPs and instead start to work towards the ETF standards so as I say do let us know how that's going uh, and if there's anything that we can do to help them in making this difficult transition then do let us know